dogs and cats have been found inside of the cosmetic manufacturer's facility that Jaclyn Hill used to create her cosmetics, allegedly. So first off, hello from the airport. You're probably wondering what the hell is going on, and same here. Um, there's some new information that came up, and I'm going to try to post that here, as well as explain kind of what's going on that I believe ties into what I found on the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. So as you know, I found hairs, again, 99.9% .9 positive they're animal. The only 0.1% that I am not positive is because I don't want to be sued. Um, some strange things have happened this week and uh, I don't exactly want to talk about it. Um, some frustrating things have happened this week and the reason that my video is not up is because it's three and a half hours long and my laptop is overheating. But in that time, a lot has happened. Specifically, some people on Reddit right here identified Oxygen Labs or Oxygen Development inside of Florida as the potential or the alleged <laughs> manufacturer of Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Now, they are originally from Europe and it sounds like they opened a branch here in Florida. This should be no problem, except for what has been found at these facilities. So I did some digging on Facebook. There uh, is a Twitter account that I found some information on as well as some of my own research that I did from my mobile phone. And there were dogs found in this facility. A, an employee who was working at the facility posted when a dog got in and you can look at these people's attire and their workspace and confirm that this is the same facility. Uh, and on top of that, someone posted a picture with no details about a cat in a cage and they tagged Oxygen Labs as the location it was taken and this person happens to be an employee of Oxygen Development. And again, I'm using the terms development and lab and manufacturer very loosely here, the way Jacqueline did. Um, if you actually get into the business of beauty, those things are very, very different, which we talk about in the long video that my computer is crapping out on. By the way, having to do a hard drive reset, that's coming on Monday. So I'm like, do I try to re-edit in the meantime or do I just wait for this new refurbished computer because my life is really testing me right now. But inside of this lab, there have been two animals confirmed with photo evidence. Now, there has been a lot of complaints. There, there have been some complaints from the FDA. Again, the Food and Drug Administration investigated in, I believe it was 2011 or 2012. I again found this off of a Twitter account and then I went to the FDA government website to confirm this. And it looks like there were some issues about this specific development place not meeting quality control. Does that sound familiar to you? So quality control has been an issue with the government in the past. Uh, on top of that, when we look at this lab, some people might say, or this manufacturing warehouse, some people might say, how do you know that's Jaclyn Hills? Good question. Again, the Twitter account that I found some of this information on um, stated and actually drew circles from Jaclyn Hills original marketing video and compared it to the labs inside of uh, Oxygen Development, the photos taken inside of that facility. And if we do compare them, they look to be the same location. Also, when you look at oxygen development and um, you kind of dig into the details of what they do, a lot of the stuff does align. Um, this is in Florida, Jaclyn Hill is in Florida. And again, this lab or this manufacturer does not seem to be all there. Um, I while doing my own research found some disturbing stuff about racism which i'm not cool with no está bien para mí uh for multiple reasons and unfortunately um there have been or fortunately for us i don't know there have been a lot of reports on glassdoor about this as well glassdoor allows people to see the working environments of companies and there was one in particular um from a couple of years ago and again date stamping all of these that specifically said how can this place even exist? Not only are they horrible to their employees, but the person says that they would not use the makeup on their own face because of what they have seen go down. Now, the very last thing that I found was actually a fire at this facility. Um, when you're working with different pigments, different chemicals, different processes, fires happen. That is normal. And I think that more indicative of you know, an overall company's process is how they deal with that instead of what actually happens because mistakes can happen. Kind of like in this Jaclyn Hill case, mistakes happen. It's not the mistake, it's how you deal with it. Uh, and I said a lot of things about things not being her fault from a legal standpoint, because when you look legally, there are different levels of fault within the eyes of the law. So is she guilty? Is she faulty? Mm, those are, you know, those are two legal definitions that I think uh, are being misconstrued by the public. But when it comes to this facility, there was a warehouse fire there. And inside of this, I believe it was, um, it was a news article that I found that stated it was an aluminum-based fire when they were grinding cosmetics. They were grinding different um, 
metals essentially um, that were going to be used in eyeshadow and that created sparks which lit some stuff on fire and toxic fumes were spilled into the air. Now, I do believe authorities came and cleaned it up. Um, there are pictures of people outside in hazmat suits and like pregnant women. Again, I think it's more important we that they cleaned it up okay and that their workers are taken care of rather than what actually happened. But it just goes to show that maybe this isn't as good of a place as we thought. So again, I found rat, what I believe to be rat hairs on these cosmetics. Um, some of them kind of looked like mink. I have contacted so many veterinarians and guess what? I didn't know that as part of veterinary training, veterinarians are not expected to know what hairs or fibers from animals look like on a microscopic level. Again, I've studied human skin, I've studied human hair, I don't know much about animal hair. I can't identify this as an animal hair because it has a medulla and the cortex is different. The structures of the hair, again pictures of what I found and then I'm comparing the photos of what I found to Google, but I've realized that what I need is someone who specializes in animal hair, potentially someone in forensics. Um, I reached out to some people who study actual like hair like balding in humans as well trichology and try like hair stuff and they don't know animal stuff they only know human hair and out of the people that I've contacted everyone is afraid of being sued just like me because of what has happened so far so that being said I want to show these hairs I believe they are from a rodent I also have a professor who I have not gotten a quote from but I spoke to him loosely um, he has worked uh, as a forensic, well, he's worked in anthropology, let's put it that way, and archaeology. And he took a look at this and his immediate thought before I told him any background was rodent. So is it rodent or is it not? <laughs> I'm not making any claims, I'm just posting pictures of what I found. And again, as of now, I have not seen any FDA reports that says there are rats in this oxygen development facility but there are photos of a dog that just walked in and there are photos of a cat in a cage tagged at this location taken by employees years ago. So it's not like someone's just posting this to start crap. Um, and when it comes to my video, I also did some sampling and I also did some swabs and cultures. And all of that is explained in the video along with my technique and what faults my technique may have had. Now, I do want to make it clear, I didn't, and I still don't want to post this until everyone else's results come back because this was not done by a third party. This was done by me and myself. I did end up growing a mold and I did end up growing a bacteria. Now, again, science is not valid unless it is repeatable and if you guys don't know who kenna is please go check out her channel she spent hundreds of dollars of her own money to test lipsticks and test samples um, from a control group to see if things grew her results came back completely negative i think there's some other people testing i don't know again bacteria and fungus are a part of our lives we should not be afraid of them but what i grew was very different so the question becomes was this growing on the lipstick or not Again, I go through all of this in a second follow-up video because I show not only my technique and how I'm getting to these answers, but I also explain what could have gone wrong, what could be growing or why, um, and show the technique that you know microbiologists would normally use to figure this kind of stuff out. Only, of course, I was using my phone, I was using cameras to record this, to share it with others, and hopefully inspire others to learn about science and get curious about the world around us, which in any professional setting, I would not have been able to do, nor would any other microbiologist or person who does this cosmetic lab testing. So again, I have not released that second video yet because my computer is in repair up until Monday and it's dying on me. Someone please send help or money, send help or money. <laughs> but that is not the point to complain. Um, it is the point of saying, <sighs> again, I'm not making claims, but I wouldn't use this stuff. And I think that something more needs to be done. When we look at the legal definition of fault, there is, I don't know, I am not a lawyer. Let's just put it that way. And I have spoken to a couple of lawyers about what has happened. But if anyone knows a forensic pathologist or somebody who could look at these damn hairs for me, I would appreciate it. When it comes to these lab results that I did at my own, in my own space, I'm waiting for some other people to post what they have found so that I can cross-reference and check. Because just because one or two things grew doesn't mean that that is valid unless it is repeatable. So if you know anyone else who is conducting their own independent testing that I can compare my results to um, and actually see, did I make a mistake or is this actually growing on one of the lipsticks, then fine. Also, what kind of validates my space is that mine 
I had control groups of Urban Decay Cosmetics and I had a control group of Bite Beauty and I also had other colors of Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipsticks. Only one lipstick in question grew both mold, and, which is a fungus, and it also grew bacteria. And the strains that it grew were also kind of interesting. And again, all of that is in a secondary video that please pray for me. So what do you think of this? What are your thoughts when it comes to cosmetic manufacturing and safety? And I want to remind you that every single industry, including the airports, have their BS. You know, that restaurant you used to work at or that place that you used to bus tables uh, or that company you used to work at a long time ago. Every single company has its faults and has its problems and shit gets thrown under the radar all the time. The only issue is when shit really hits the fan and it becomes available to the public and literal metal and mold and things are growing in these lipsticks that people are then putting on their face and potentially getting sick from. That is my concern. And again, I hate drama. I'm about the facts. And I was very worried and, you know, kind of freaked out when I found these animal hairs on my lipsticks. But then seeing the condition of, of the lab, looking into the laboratory myself, and I'm saying laboratory meaning manufacturing facility, they do research and development there as well but it is a manufacturing warehouse. When I look at this development facility, when I see what has gone down, it makes me nervous as a consumer. And by the way, L'Oreal and Estee Lauder have used this company. I believe that they were using the European locations, um, but European um, cosmetics are global, obviously. And again, two very prestigious brand names have used this company before. So is this a one-time fluke from the company or is this a regular repeated offense that has been bad. Again, I didn't see Marlena's video until like a day ago. I didn't even know that Jaclyn Hill jumped off on social media until like a day ago because your girl has real life stuff to do. But um, when I found out that she was warned and that there have been issues with this laboratory in the past, this laboratory, this manufacturer in the past, it's concerning. If you want a video on the breakdown of legal definitions of fault and why I don't think Jaclyn Hill is legally faulty, uh, happy to try to speak to a lawyer and find out. If you know a forensic pathologist, let me know. And please pray for my goddamn laptop and my hemorrhaging wallet. <laughs> I love you beautiful butterflies. Hope you're having a great day. You can watch another video here and um, I'll see you. I can't even edit regular videos on my computer. So pray for me or someone in Arizona, let me borrow a laptop or suggest something, please. And thank you. Bye.